Will it turn over? Turned over. Will it start? Well, welcome again to Revs IT. And at the beginning of this series, restoring this ZZR 250. Now, it hasn't been started yet, so I'm, <laughs> I'm eager to see if it will start. The uh, engine turns over, I know that, but uh, I'm a little reticent to actually start it up simply because I don't know what the fluids are like. Um, I don't know if there's oil in it even. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to drop the oil if there is any in it out. I'm going to put some temporary oil in just as a flush and then later on uh, when we do it properly I'll use the new uh, oil filter and we'll change the oil filter and do that as well. But for today we're just going to drop the old oil, refill and then we'll give it a go. See if it starts. Okay, now there is one thing on this. Um, on most of the ZZRs you will find that the refill point is here. Uh, on this, it's down inside behind the fairing. So I'm going to have to take uh, this fairing, I'll just probably just take the couple of the screws out to get at the refill point and uh, to refill it that way. So I'll start off uh, by dropping the oil, then I'll take this off. I might even take the whole fairing off. I'll see what I think as I go along. If I take the whole fairing off, I could actually check the radiator as well. I think it's okay, the radiator, but just in case. So let's get on with dropping the oil. Let's see where that is. Okay, so we're underneath the bike now. This uh, job can be done actually without taking the fairing off at all if it wasn't for that fill point. The drain plug is there, and this is the bolt for the uh, oil filter uh, that comes out and there's a couple of o-rings and things to reseal it when we put it in. I haven't got a new washer yet for the drain plug but again this is only temporary so I'm going to just reuse what's on there and then put the new one on when we do the actual proper oil change and filter change and let's get on with it and let's try and get this out. Let's try a 17. Yep, 17. Okay, I don't know if you can actually see very well here, but it is actually draining quite nicely. I think it was actually probably full, but nevertheless, the oil change this time is simply to flush the engine and then do the proper oil change later. Okay, now I've just realized that for some reason my microphone wasn't being picked up. So in that last part, uh, if there's no audio, commentary, my apologies. Uh, okay, we're going to refill now. We're gonna, what I will do is I'll go, just go back over what I was talking about um, after I took out the connectors there. I was talking about the engine looking pretty good. Everything is in pretty good shape, no leaks I can see. And we're going to actually top up the uh, water as well to see, well, coolant, whatever the coolant is in there, uh, top that up as well, just in case that's low. But now we're going to refill it with the oil. So we need 1.6 litres, as I said, due to the fact that we're not refilling the actual um, oil filter. So let's just put this down.
So there's our first litre. Now we need to get it in to the bike. So cap off. So I have put 1.6 litres of fresh oil in there anyway. So that's in there now and it's all set. Next I'm going to check to make sure the fluids are topped up as well. And of course, don't forget to put the cap back on. Then we can take a look at the filler cap. See if we can get this off. This is very, oh, yes, it is coming off. And there it is, it's full. That's good. Actually, I'm not sure if it is full or if it's just. Hmm. I'll top that off just in case. Let me just grab some water. Again, when I do the full service, I will be refilling this with completely new fluid. Yeah, it seems to be full. Yep, yeah. so that's good. That means the radiator and uh, the cooling system's all holding, which is good news. Up back on. There we go. Okay, oil is changed. Coolant level is checked. Battery is connected. Next thing, will it start? First start then. Are you ready for this? Let's see. Okay, so here goes the moment of truth. Will it start? The battery is a fresh one. I have cleaned the flow chamber of the or flow chambers of the carbs. We have power. Will it turn over? Turned over. Will it start? Should I put a bit of choke on, I suppose? What about that? 12 years in the garage. A bit of fresh petrol, clean carbs, fresh oil, topped up the water, and it started. I'm not sure if the choke is working. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, but it's definitely running, and it sounds really sweet. Wow, okay. That engine sounds really good. It's a little bit rattly, but I think that's the clutch. Um, there again, it hasn't been used for 12 years, so what do you expect? Everything seems to be going well so far, <laughs> he says. It is idling very, very high, about 4,000. I think the choke is stuck on. So there you go, it starts and it runs quite nicely. It's idling very high, about 4,000. And um, I think the choke is stuck on and that's what's causing that. And when you rev it, as you saw there, it's, uh, it's bogging down. I think that's probably, uh, it needs the carbs overhauled, which is one of the things I intend to do anyway. But here we go. As 2009, this was put in the garage and uh, brought out new battery, cleaned the floor chambers and the carbs, um, fresh oil, topped up the water, turned the switch, pressed the button, and boom, she started up. Now, you out there, many of you will know a lot more about these engines than me. What did you think about the sound? The exhaust sound is awesome. Um, 
what did you think about the sound of the engine? It did sound a bit tappity to me, so again, tap, it might need uh, redoing. Um, but apart from that, it it sounded very, very good. Uh, it did bog down, so I think I'm going to have to redo and uh, refurbish the carburetors completely. And I think that choke is stuck on, and that is why it was over revving. It was up to about 4,000 uh, on takeover. There we go. First start of the Kawasaki ZZR 250 barn find or garage find. Ride on, ride safe. Join me for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.